Welcome everyone to Philadelphia Union Soccer. The Philadelphia Union have taken on FC Dallas three previous times. They have yet to beat this Texas team. They're hoping that tonight is the night. But Hartman sets a record for his third 373rd start. But for Philadelphia, Freddie Adu gets a start in a diamond midfield out wide left. Don't be shocked to see Freddie Adu, Ponovic and Latou interchanging with their runs. FC Dallas in red and white stripes. Keys to the game brought to you by Logan Tri-State Toyota Dealers. Toyota moving forward. Proactive movement. You come off with a full week of training. First pass, first touch. Get forward. Dictate the pace of play. In Philadelphia Union. This portion of the match sponsored by Adidas. All passion all together. It's coming back towards Valdez. He lost it. Mike Consantos has an easy goal on an uncharacteristic miscue from Carlos Valdez. One of the Dallas. And it comes off a long throw in, and Carlos Valdez is going to want to have this one back. Keep it simple, but it's his first step back on it. He's not reacting in the right way. He's thinking, should I head it back to Farid? This ball's got to be booted 30 yards into the stands. Right here, head it back early on. If not, that ball's got to be kicked 40 yards upfield. And this is off a long throw, and Peter Novak is not going to be happy with that. You've got to be organized. But again, it's real simple. If Valdez kicks that 30 yards forward, that's not a goal. But give Santos credit. Yeah. Fouls the play up. Seventh goal of the year. He's going to get booed probably the rest of the night. Anytime a player is injured, takes time on the field. Once he comes back in, the fans are here. <laughs> let him have it. The Philly fans. George John. And this is. Just takes a run at Sebastian Latou. And a yellow card. More importantly, a free kick here. And, and George John, there's no reason. Let it go. I mean, yellow card's a little rough on that because you see that about 100 times a game. But I've never understood as a center back, why would you even give it a chance for the referee to call foul here? Now you get a dangerous opportunity for Philadelphia to get back in this game. Someone from Philadelphia has to get in front of Danny Hernandez. Near post run. Cause havoc for Kevin Hartman's sideline. Do step over, Latou sets it in, save Hartman, that's a beauty. Fifth corner kick of the night for Philadelphia. Absolutely great free kick from Sebastian Latou with pace. If Hartman doesn't touch that, that's hitting the inside of the post going in. Just with pace, Valdez is knocking on the door. Pulled up, got it forward. McInerney turns. Second try at it, Map behind it, couple of defenders, in the box, it goes down, is it a penalty? Yes, it is! And Philadelphia will have a chance to equalize. Latou, one for one this year. And Justin Mack make, making a great run in behind. I thought he took too long, but he did a good job of Bay Mugo thinking he can get this. Face one penalty kick this year. He did not make the save on it. The opponents one for one against Hartman. A chance to tie for Latou. How big this could be. On the whistle, Latou with a strike. One, one. That was pressure. He doesn't score there, you've got to wonder how that weighs on his mind. And I was watching him walk over there. He wasn't 100% convinced he'd grab the ball, discussing it with Freddie Adu. But he's convinced me. He buried that penalty. Walked right up. That long ball is not working tonight. If you're going to play long ball, someone has to challenge that. Paunovic. McInerney. The two. Look at this ball. Mike Santos sends in Chavez. Right beyond. And then off the post. And then Breck Shea just tapped it in. 2-1 FC Dallas and Philadelphia gets burnt again late in the half. But that's a, that's on Philadelphia. You've got a free kick at the end of the first half in Dallas's own end. And you hit a ball and if you consistently play long balls with no challenges, the ball's going to come right down your throat. Santos plays in a perfect ball to Chavez. And give Breck Shea a lot of yeah. credit. These So many players do not follow this play through. Breck Shea does finish, and this is just 
the, it's the little things that kind of cost Philadelphia right now of not being in first place, and that's seeing out the half. Ten. And the referee turns his attention to the fourth official. Shannon Williams tackled away by Shea. That's a foul. In a great spot if you're Philadelphia. If that's a card, he's done. That's yeah. it. That's George John. Second yellow. Had to wait and see if that was going to be a card presentation. And we knew that George John already had one. That was a hard challenge. Now, Charles Hyman had some instruction for Andrew Jacobson. He's going to maybe change a little bit of that instruction now. He would have to. and Really an unnecessary. George John thinks he can get there, but as a center back with the yellow card, you've got to have that in mind. Danny Mwanga's not going anywhere. Hold him up, stand him up. The phrase that Chellis Hyman, FC Dallas coach, always uses is emotional intelligence. Yep. He will use that phrase again. Now, on that wall that was set up, the other dynamic of that in terms of a left foot of the right foot of the player is Breck Shea is standing on the far post. Oh, do we have another penalty? We do. Sorry, Bob. Second penalty, and you expect Latou's going to step up again. And now it's getting a little heated. It's not getting a little heated. Benitez ran right at the referee. And earlier today, Seattle played Chivas at home, and there was two penalty kicks that should have been called. How difficult is it? That's a penalty. Benitez is playing Farfins in. Latou is ready. Latou, two two. Latou gets another. Huge penalty kick. Then obviously to make anyway. But when you're trailing twice, no. And what a good job. He opens up his hips right there. He's got Hartman thinking he's going the other way. Time five minutes added on. The two drives it. Not a dumb by Daniel. Save Hartman. Terrific save. Probably the save of the night. Are you kidding me? Let me change that. Not probably the save of the night. That is the save of the night. No doubt about that one. There is no doubt about this. Keon Daniel. Great, great corner from Sebastian the two. But Daniel does a good job. I can't tell you how difficult oh. that is. Hartman's momentum body's going one way, deflected. For him to get that That's a world-class save. World-class save. Two on one on this pass. Farfan played it back to Mondragon. Philadelphia escapes there, and they will come away with a point. Although, oh, it was a little wow. scary at the very end. This was some game. It ends up 2-2.